Another point I want to emphasize is the solutions, yeah, the ways of dealing once we recognize we are in ADD or you know there's too much going on or we've got stressed uh, are very simple right they're very simple and they seem really no-brainers something that probably your grandmother has been telling you all the time take a walk take a break hang out with friends relax talk to your mom yeah put some music have a good meal yeah that suits your primitive brain as well so get comfortable now, um, now, these are very no-brainer things, but I think it's very important because sometimes the solutions are so simple, we tend not to do it. But this is too simple. Hey, this can't help my problems because you know what? My problems are emanating from the fact that I am doing financial derivatives and all this advanced calculus and planning board meetings and all that. How can taking a walk help? taking a walk in hell because your primitive brain is in the riding seat and you need to soothe that before you can do all these advanced calculus and you know calculations that what that you needed to be doing now um, and uh, I think when you take this science forward and I hope that you will I hope that you don't just advocate the solutions but also pass on the science behind it and, and, and if your managers, I hope you take the time and effort to sort of organize the environment around the people who are working for you as well. So you can organize the environment for yourself. You can also do it for your team and your subordinates. You can try and help them and also manage the environment for them so that you're not loading them in parallel with lots of things at the same time. You don't give them work A to do well in the middle, interrupt them for work B and then ask them, no, give me a C right now. So try not do that. So try not add to the stress of the people whom you hire to work with. Because you have hired intelligent people and you want them to work with the intelligence that you hire them for. You don't want to hire intelligent people and then put them in a situation where, hey, they're smart, but you know what? You're not letting the smart part of their brain function. You are letting their primitive brain function because you've overloaded them with so much stuff that the control they're now you know operating from their primitive brain and they can't do any of the smart stuff that they could have done for you. That's not very clever use of you know utilizing the resources that you have hired. So so do manage you know ADT for yourself as well as manage the environment for others. And not only should you manage help manage the environment for the people who work with you and for you both your colleagues and subordinates, please also empower and equip them with this information so that they can also take steps to internally manage their own stress better. Um, I, I, I want to share an incident with you here because um, I think I was lucky. So I was quite a nerd when I was a student and I think I got lucky because I I stumbled upon certain rituals that worked really well for me, both from the point of view of studying as well as from the point of view of doing well in examinations. And it's only now that I realize that I was using my brain very, very effectively. So I might not have been far more intelligent than my classmates or peers as my you know, teachers would like to label me. Uh, and then they would, they would call me things like ex exceptionally intelligent and stuff, but I don't think that's really the point. I think I had, I had stumbled upon the sources that I had stumbled upon rituals whereby I was really maximizing the effectiveness of my brain. Let me tell you, uh, let me tell you some, some ways in which I would study. So, so I'm someone actually who loves nature. I love being outdoors. I'm very passionate about nature. Um, what I do when I get stressed usually is go and hug trees. What I do when I'm not stressed is also go and hug trees. So I just love being around plants. And so when I was in school, when I was growing up, I used to, I used to always study in my garden. I used to study in my school garden, in my home garden. When I went to college, I went to IIT Madras, which has this beautiful, lush green campus. I used to go to the lake. I used to take all my books, climb a tree, study there. What was I doing? And I used to sort of feel a little weird and awkward and shy about this and my friends would call me a monkey and all. But I was like, you know what, this works for me because I, I didn't really feel like studying indoors. And 
What I didn't know then was that I was really soothing my primitive brain. My primitive brain was very happy when I was on a tree or when I was in nature. And when my primitive brain was happy, it was giving all this go ahead, everything's fine signals to my prefrontal cortex, which was all open, ready to absorb the math, the engineering, the formula, all, all, all the intelligence, all the processing. The processor was there for my use and disposal. I didn't realize it, but it, it was a ritual. I just kept doing it. I now know the science behind it, right? And, and similarly, before exams, I had, I had this, you know, sort of mantra almost, something that I would never compromise on, which was on the day of an exam, I had to, I would always eat my favorite food before I would go for the exam. I would make sure that I was, you know, feeling very happy, my emotions were good, I used to get myself into a place of feeling very nice. And I used to have, you know, say a little prayer, say my own little ritual to, you know, the God that I believe in and just get myself into this very good space before I would embark on the math or the analysis or the exam, whatever it is. Again, what was I doing? I was getting my primitive brain into a very cozy, happy, comfortable position, giving all rain to the prefrontal cortex to process what was coming in. It really worked. I didn't, I thought it was just a ritual and I thought it was just for me. Now, several times when I was in school as well as in college, I've had friends who come and asked me, hey, how do you study? What works for you? I, I did try sharing things, but I mean, but you know what? It wouldn't work for them because climbing a tree may not get everyone, may not soothe everyone's primitive brain because it's not their thing. It doesn't get them into their element, right? It doesn't comfort them. Same thing, I, I can't just tell my prayer and mantra to someone and say, you repeat it and it's going to work the same way for you. No, it works for me because it's it's so personal to me. So, so what I didn't realize was I had, what I should have told my friends or the people who asked me was to, find a way that would get them to be comfortable, to, that would suit their own primitive brain. And the tactics of exactly how you do it could be different. But once you really soothe your primitive brain, you have your prefrontal cortex completely ready for the task at hand. And that's a very efficient use of the brain. I had a friend, I had a friend in IIT, and before, the night before exams, so we were living in hostel, we used to all live away from home, and for most of us it was the first time that we were living away from home. And the night before every exam, she used to actually sleep with her mother's sari. Why would I do work for her? What was she doing? Again, soothing the primitive brain. The primitive brain gets soothed in primitive ways. Once that's soothed, you have your prefrontal cortex ready, yeah, to process the hard stuff and the ner nerdy stuff and the tough stuff that you want to do, yeah. So it works. So, so, so this, so, so that's why I think the science is now useful, right? Because now I can, in hindsight, I can understand what worked for me. I, I knew friends who would study very well when they would study with a best friend or with someone they were dating or something. I now understand why. Because their primitive brains were humming and happy to just be mirror neurons, all fired up, just to be so happy to be in the company of this other person. And then their prefrontal cortex is all ready to process the information and the stuff, do the logic, do the analysis. So, so whatever works for you. So, so, so when, when you take this knowledge forward to implement it on yourself, your colleagues, your subordinates, Share the strategies that work for you, but more importantly, share the structure of the brain, share the process so that people can come up with their own strategies that work for them. Because otherwise, if you just tell everyone, go for a walk or do this, do that, it's, it becomes just like this ritual that may not work for everyone, right? Also, you don't need six rituals. You don't, so, so if you're telling people, go for a walk, pray, meditate, climb a tree, <laughs> eat your favorite food, all of it. You don't have to do all of it. You need to do one or two of it at most. Actually, just one works to get your primitive brain soothed, right? So share the process, share the science, and I think that will really help people manage their own stress.